Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're back here today with another challenge video. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit, so let's get on with the crafts. Let's go. All right, here we go with DIY number one. All right, so for our first challenge, this challenge we had to use uh, jars or cans that we have canned food in. Now I do can in these jars and so I saved them for that and I decided I was going to take and use this one for this challenge. I really didn't want to, but I did. <laughs> so anyway, I'm making sure I take off the labels and that scraper, if you use that scraper, it's really good to get the labels and the extra glue off, but be very careful that you don't cut yourself. And then if you'll go back and take alcohol and wipe the outside of that bottle, it'll start clearing off all of that excess glue. Now for this project, I am going to use um, this. This little bird is actually going on one of the other DIYs in this challenge. But in order to get it to dry in time, I needed to do it now. So I am going to fill this up with hot glue. And then I'm going to fill up this other mold with hot glue as well. Now when you're filling these up with hot glue, um, I really should have used my other glue gun that didn't have the fine tip on it. But you want to make sure you squeeze your molds and move that glue around while it's still not set up. Because you want to make sure it gets down in every one of these little nooks and crannies. And you see me taking the glue and moving it around with my tip of my glue gun. And you want to make sure that you're getting every bit of that detail in there. So you even need to um, like lift it up and drop it down on the desk and see me squishing it there. That's really important. If you don't, you won't get all the details. Now I'm going to set those two aside and let them dry because one's for this project and one's for one of the other ones. Now I got this candle stand from the thrift store. You got only paid a dollar for it and I taped the bottom of it because it had a felt bottom and I didn't want to get black paint all over it. It is a little brass candle stand and it's got some real pretty embellishment on the bottom of it and I thought it would go really good with this project. So I'm going to paint it all completely black with the chalk paint from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to make sure I get around the edges and at the top and everything. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I was going to take the jar and paint it but I decided to take my little medallion that I made with the hot glue and paint it completely black. Now I did take this little uh, handle thing that came from Harbor Freight and it looks like a little ice pick with a bend in, in, the, in the end of it and darn there goes my alarm again. <laughs> And anyway, I am going to take and paint this black and then I'm going to let it sit and dry. And then I'm going to take my jar and paint it completely black with the same chalk paint. Now, while I am waiting, I got this lid off of a splatter screen that came from the Dollar Tree. I used the splatter screen for something else. And so I am going to take that handle and put it on this project here and I just drilled a hole in that and put it on that way and now we're going to start assembling everything. So now I'm going to take my E6000 glue and make sure I cover the back of this little medallion that is going on this project. Now if you notice up there is a little pink mold and it is I put hot glue in it to make the two little pieces that are going to go on the side of this medallion and I'm going to take and stick this on there and kind of hold it in place until that hot glue that I added to it has time to set up. Now it does have E6000 and hot glue on it and then I'm going to do the same with those little pieces that are down there on the side. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take those two little scrolly pieces out of that mold and we are going to place them on either side of this and then we will paint those with black chalk paint after we get them glued on. And you guys, I really love how this turned out. Now I know I keep saying that about all these projects, but just some of them make you sit back and go, wow, God, you impress me. 
because I didn't know that it was going to be that pretty. I had a, I imagined, but I didn't know. And then after I got those glued on, then the next thing I did is I take this uh, candlestick and I put E6000 on it and some hot glue and I am going to stick it to the bottom of this and now you're going to need to let this sit and dry overnight. Me being the impatient crafter, I didn't do that and I worked with it while it was still wet, but I had to let it sit overnight before I could come back and put the other stuff on it that I'm going to do. So anyway, I'm going to paint these next things black. Now I'm taking the painter's tape off the bottom and it's completely dry. And now what I'm going to do is take some of that gold um, rub and buff and start adding it to the top of my little embellishments I added on this jar. And then I'm going to go around the bottom. And you guys, you got to see this at the final reveal because it is gorgeous when I get done with it. So I'm not going to show y'all any more of this. I'm going to wait for you to see it at the final reveal because you do go around and put this in every place you have little uh, embellishments or embossing. Now this is the Craft Your Trash Style Your Cans and, and Glass Jars. It is hosted by So Kate and her co-host this month is Tammy from over at Happiness Created. Y'all go check out these ladies' channels and check out the playlist in the description box below because they're doing some awesome crafts and you sure don't want to miss it. Now here we go with DIY number two. All right, here we go with DIY number two. Now I took this little gift bag that I got from the Dollar Tree in a large pack and I cut it down to fit the size of my can. Now you guys, I did have one can uh, on hand, but I, most of my stuff is canned and canning jars. So I didn't have too many of these. Now I'm gonna put some hot glue down and I'm going to attach this and make sure it's in place and that it will fit all the way around my can and then I'm going to trim it off right before or right at the seam and so I'm just I made a little cut so I knew where to trim this off at and then I'm going to cut it down to fit my can. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Mod Podge because hot glue will not hold on this can. That was just so that I can get the sizing of this done the proper way and then I'm going to pull my hot glue back off and then I'm going to get my Mod Podge out. Now I did go around the inside of the can and take and put uh, crimp that edge so that nobody would get cut on this if they stuck their hand down in the can. Now I'm going to go all the way around my can put some Mod Podge down with my little fan brush take and roll my piece up on it and making sure that it goes down in the grooves and everything and then I'll go back and do another section until I go all the way around this. Then the next thing I did is I got these little stickers from the crafter square at the Dollar Tree and it had a little window on it and this I'm going to take and peel off. Now I'm going to go and stick it right over where my seam was so that nobody ever sees that seam. And I'm going to rub it down really good. Now I am going to start taking and putting some hot glue on the back of this, even though it does have sticky stuff. And I'm going to go all the way around and make sure that's down all over the whole can. Everywhere it touches anyway. I'm going to take the little stickers and the flowers that were in that set and I'm going to go all the way around the cam with them. Then the next thing I did is I got me one of those little wood rounds that come in a, I think it's a pack of five from Walmart out and I'm going to take some of this jute cording and I'm going to go all the way around the top of my can to just give it a finished look on the top. Then the next thing I'm going to do is get my, um, antiquing wax out and I'm going to go all over this wood round. Now actually you need two wood rounds with the way I did this and you're going to want to cover them both in the um, antiquing wax and wipe back what you don't need on there and you want to do the top and the bottom of each side for the, the rounds. You're going to need two rounds just like this. 
Now for the bottom one, you don't have to paint it all the way around on the other side. You just need to paint it partially away around and then wipe off the excess of what you don't need. Now I already tried to hot glue that on there, but you know, I got sidetracked and did something else and didn't get it on there before the glue dried. So anyway, I'm gonna put some hot glue and some E6000 on there and we are gonna stick this one to the bottom of our can and press it down and put some weight on it and this is going to turn out too cute. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is take your little bird and you're going to want to paint it. Now this was done at the beginning of the video on when I was doing the other uh, glue and I glued the bird. Now what we're going to do with this one is we are going to take and put this one on the top but we're not going to glue it down and we're going to add some of this jute cord all the way around it. Then the next thing I did is I went around the bottom of my wood round that is placed on the bottom of the can, went all the way around it with the jute cord. Then I took my little bird and um, that I painted with the white chalk paint and I am going to hot glue it in the center of the top and we will see the rest of this at the final reveal. Okay, let's jump right into DIY number three. Now, here we go with DIY number three. Now, I took a glass mason jar. Now, this was one of the ones that comes plain. Uh, you could get those from, I believe I got this one at Walmart. And I'm going to paint, I glued with E6000 the base to this, and that is a glass candle stand that I found at the thrift store. And we are going to... Um, Glue it together with E6000, let it sit overnight, and then paint it with white chalk paint the next day. Now the next thing I did is I took a uh, this design that I got, graphic design that I got off of the Graphic Fairy online. If you go to graphicfairy.com, she has free uh, downloads that you can get. And I printed this out on a piece of napkin. And sometimes I use tissue paper. This time I use napkin. And I'm going to just start placing it down section by se section by section and putting Mod Podge down underneath it. And then when it's once it's dry, I'll cover the whole thing in Mod Podge. And evidently my stand fell off. So I'll have to glue that back on and let it sit overnight. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> now, um... Yeah, that's DIY number one. So we're looking at DIY number two now. Now what I did is I created the same lid that I created on the other one, but I'm using a mason jar lid. And that is another one of those caps from the splatter screen. And I put it on there. And we will see the rest of this at the final reveal. Now at this time we'd like to thank our subscribers. We love you bunches and we really appreciate you. And here we are with the final reveal. All right, y'all, we're back from the craft desk and didn't these just turn out awesome? Well, if you like this content, subscribe, like, and share because it really helps our video out and for all our subscribers thank you so much for everything you do for us by subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next episode of the crafty art shack we'll see you later bye <laughs> i was doing that. when i look at something in the background or whatever and i notice it's out of place it's like squirrel <laughs> My craft room's not full. I still have the ceiling to hang stuff from. <laughs> what do you mean you can't find it? Babe, it's right there behind my, um, yeah, that thing. Yeah, it's behind my stuff. <laughs> I know. Hey, babe, those are my tools. Yours are over there in your uh, toolbox behind my stuff. That's why you're using mine? <laughs> Listen, I have everything right here in hand's reach so that I can do a video. Why is it over there? Because I'm not using it right now. No, don't get rid of it. <laughs> I need it. But I know it's not at hand's reach, but I need it. <laughs> I'm like, what do you use it?
Alright y'all, we're back from the craft desk and didn't these just turn out awesome? So you guys, if you like this content, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and give us that big thumbs up because it really helps our channel out. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Crafty Art Shack. We'll see you later. Bye!